everybody, this is Garrett with Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. Today is March 1st, 2018, the first day of meteorological spring, and we're starting off spring with flooding here in Tennessee. We've received about six inches of rainfall within the past few days, with most of it coming within the past 24 hours. So we're experiencing some pretty serious flood conditions here. The highest I've seen it in a long time. This here is the Collins River in McMinnville, Tennessee. Normal stage is about six or seven feet, and currently the river is reading just over 21 feet stage height. Here you can see the amount of precipitation that the Collins River in McMinnville has received over the past few days. The previous video of the Collins River was taken about 100 yards away from this USGS water station. This map made by the National Weather Service in Nashville, Tennessee shows the amount of precipitation that we received in the past 24 hours, well over 3 inches, approaching just over 4 inches in southern Tennessee. February has been a very wet month here in Middle Tennessee, with almost a foot of rain being measured. Most of that rain has fallen within the past week, from February 24th onward. Here is the gauge height at that same station on the Collins River. You can see the nearly 20 foot spike in gauge height over the past day. Gauge height at this station usually rests around the 5 foot mark. So at peak flood stage, this gauge registered about 20 feet above normal base flow. Here's the discharge measured with over 10 times the normal amount of water being measured at nearly 25,000 cubic feet per second flowing through, compared to roughly 2,000 cubic feet normally. And here are a few pictures sent in from a friend of mine showing more of the localized flooding that took place. This is a small dam at Pepper Branch Park in McMinnville, Tennessee, where a tremendous flooding took place. You can barely see the top of the dam sticking up. This is a video of that same dam roughly 24 hours after that picture was taken. Now here we are approximately 24 hours later. The water has receded quite a bit, but that's to be expected here in the Karst Lake area. The water is still pretty high though because usually the edge of the water is down there about those tree lines. And you see that more evident further down that way.
finally here we are, back where we started. Again, roughly 24 hours after the beginning of the video. And that's a quick summary of flash flooding in the cars terrain of Middle Tennessee. As always, if you enjoy what you're seeing, please be sure to subscribe. And of course, as always again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.